Hello, this is Online Offline, and welcome back to another casual quick guide to Call of Duty Mobile. For today's video, we'll be covering the EM2. Introduced in Season 11 of 2022, the EM2 is a bulb-up rifle with an integrated sight, featured in Black Ops Cold War. It's based on the British prototype of the same name, hence, Experimental Model 2. While fighting the Nazis in World War II, the British took an interest in their weaponry and intermediate cartridge, something to replace their 303 Lee Enfield bolt actions. After the war, engineers at Enfield worked on various bullpup prototypes, the EM1, 2, and 3, under different designers. Switching from the German 792 in favor of a British 7mm or 0.28 inch caliber, it came down to two rifles, Thorpe and Jansen with the latter winning. The EM2 was the first bullpup rifle to be adopted by a national military. However, this was short-lived and only very few were ever produced. It competed against the American T-25 and Belgian FAO, who also wanted to use 280 as well. The only definitive conclusion that could be drawn was despite being the ones with all the demands, the Americans were half-hearted with the T-25. In order to make NATO standardization a reality, Winston Churchill proposed a compromise. Abandon the EM2 in favor of the FAL in 30 caliber, or 762. The Canadians and Belgians were on board, but the Americans did not uphold their end of the deal. The EM2 was an ambitious product ahead of its time. Decades later, NATO would revisit and adopt an intermediate cartridge, albeit not a British one. Optics for standard infantry would become the norm, and the British would adopt a similar looking rifle as their primary weapon, but this time around it's more of a bullpup AR-18. Base damage per shot is high, killing in 3 shots at first before dropping to 4 and 5 from farther away. However, its fire rate is slow at 536 rounds per minute, which is the third slowest in the AR class, only ahead of the Odin and Man of War. On top of that, like most of the newer weapons, it has bullet velocity. At 600 meters per second, it travels faster than the ASVAL, but slower than the Odin. Assuming no range attachments, your effective range is 37 meters. Headshots only deal 10% more damage, and just one will not be able to affect your time to kill. But it's recommended that you use its barrel attachments. In pursuit of more mobility, the ultralight barrel reduces your effective range down to 29 meters, and your bullet velocity matches that of the AS valve. Personally, I don't think it's worth it. The Ranger barrel does the opposite, sacrificing mobility for an effective range of 48 meters and a bullet velocity similar to the Krig 6. And the final barrel is Task Force, which increases your bullet velocity and boosts your body multipliers for the potential to still achieve a 3-shot kill at mid-range. However, it comes with more recoil. The Agency Suppressor also reduces your bullet velocity, somewhat, but it's not too detrimental. As for Bloom, the EM2 is better than average, and is on par with the Kilo 1 for 1, KN44, and Krig 6. Because it has the Treyarch-style gunsmith, you don't have access to many bloom attachments, other than the laser. Hipfire performance is better than most ARs and would be on par with the average SMG, if not for its slow fire rate. Like the Swordfish, the EM2 comes with an integrated sight, but instead of a 3x scope like the Swordfish, it's more similar to the Red Dot in Zoom, but more difficult to track at longer distances. Flinch is not an issue and its recoil is fairly light but using Task Force makes it jiggle more. In terms of movement speeds, it's tied for the slowest in the AR class, and tied second slowest in ADS speed. Its base magazine size is only 20 rounds, and can be extended to 25, 30, or 40, with varying effects to your reload times and slash or ADS time. You'll be reloading quite often, and although it's slow, the way the sound and animation match makes reload cancelling somewhat satisfying. Since the EM2 is a new weapon, it may be a little early to judge its relevance. Is it popular because it's new, or is it just that good? 
It is similar to its fellow slower three-shot ARs like the Meta War and ASM-10. Neither are meta, but because the EM-2 is not a hitscan weapon like them, it tends to struggle at mid to longer ranges. It may be preliminary, and I don't have it golded yet, but I do think it needs some minor buffs. Mobile's Crick 6 has a faster bullet velocity compared to its Cold War counterpart, and so I think the EM-2 should as well. 700, 750 meters per second would do just fine, and make its ultralight barrel more usable. Second, I think the penalties of its larger magazines are too punishing. Other mags on other guns are not this strict. And lastly, I'd like to remove the bullet velocity penalty on its agency suppressor. I know that this was the case in Cold War, but most of Mobile's weapons that do have it don't have penalties, except for the MX-9, Hades, and KSB-45. And even then, I don't think that they deserve the penalties either. But hey, that's just my opinion. This has been a Casual's Quick Guide. Feel free to suggest what weapons you want to see covered next. My name is On, and I'm off.